Today I'm going to peer into my crystal ball and do some predictions on some of the biggest Kickstarters of 2021. Thank you for joining me today at Tantrum Mouse Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. There has been some big announcements of Kickstarters that will be launching in 2021. I thought it'd be fun to talk about them in this video and give some predictions on how much money each of those campaigns will raise. Let's get started. Number 10 is Now or Never, coming from Red Raving Games. I think this campaign will raise at least $500,000. Now or Never is the third in the series from the world of Arzeum from Red Raven Games, first with Above and Below, and then with Near and Far. I've really enjoyed these games, and now we have Now or Never. Now or Never is a competitive strategy game for one to four players. It takes about 90 to 180 minutes to play. You are rebuilding your ancestral village and guiding the rest of the villagers on their journey home. Journey to the monument and help rebuild your ancient home. Reggie Games is launching Primal The Awakening. I think this campaign will raise at least $600,000. Reggie Games has also launched in the past Elo Darkness. Primal The Awakening is a fully co-op monster hunting miniature board game for one to four players. It takes about 60 to 90 minutes to play, set in a fantasy world where humans struggle to survive in an untamed wilderness. The game is played in a series of multiple sessions throughout an epic campaign where you take the role of hunters, fighting monstrous creatures, and unveiling mysteries about their origins. Agamonia is next on the list, or Agemonia, I'm pretty sure it's Agamonia, but anyway, this is coming from Alada Palit, and I believe this campaign will raise $700,000. This is a fully co-op board game with challenging choices, set in an expansive storyline for one to four players, it takes about one to two hours to play, living your destiny and becoming the mightiest of unlikely heroes or even the most despicable of villains in this unforgettable adventure. I was able to play one of the scenarios and really enjoyed my time on Tabletopia. Monolith recently announced season three for Batman Gotham City Chronicles. I believe this campaign will raise at least $800,000. In the game, there's gonna be a total rulebook and missions booklet upgrade by Paul Grogan. There's also gonna be a solo player and co-op game mode. And there will also be some things available from the previous two seasons of Batman Gotham City Chronicles. <music> Druid City Games launches Bloodstone on January 26th, right around the corner. I believe this campaign will reach $1 million. This game is for two to six players, takes about 30 to 60 minutes to play. You control one of the characters and use a custom dice mechanism to determine your attacks and movements using your miniature to move around the arena and engage in combat. Into the Unknown has announced Kingdoms Forlorn. This campaign, I believe, will reach $1 million. This company is also known for Aeon's Trespass Odyssey. This is a dungeon delver for one to four players, which focuses on loot. Kingdom Forlorn focuses on the personal stories and short delves into the titular kingdoms building on their co-op system, giving advantages to the next player in turn order, bringing a greater sense of working together. Monster Hunter World, the board game from Steamforge Games. I believe this campaign will reach at least $1 million. This is a cooperative combat board game for one to four players. Venture into a world where mankind fights to coexist with monsters, slay beasts to earn rich rewards, and improve your weapons and armor. As the challenges mount and difficulty grows, will you be ready to take on the mighty beasts? <music> Bezier Games recently announced the Castles of Mad King Ludwig Collector's Edition. This campaign, I believe, will reach at least $2 million, and I think it launches on January 19th. Designer Ted Allspock is bringing fans of the Castles of Mad King Ludwig 
the collector's edition they've been waiting for. Featuring all new gorgeous detailed artwork, a dual-sided recessed scoreboard and swan player markers, game trays storage organizers, support for up to five players, new rooms and king's favors. All existing expansions, in addition to two brand new ones, Royal Decrees, which introduces asymmetric player abilities, and the Towers expansion, a new category of rooms with matching custom painted tower miniatures. Upgrading to the Royal level will add intricately detailed metal coins, weighted poker chip favors, and smooth plastic swan tokens. Players looking for a larger than life experience should consider the colossal set of additional rooms, which are four times larger. Bring Castles of Mad King Ludwig Collector's Edition home to your kingdom this year. Monolith has announced Mythic Battles Ragnarok. I believe this campaign will reach at least $3 million. Monolith has already published Mythic Battle Pantheon, and now we have Ragnarok. It has two new troop types, like the Berserk skill, which offers the possibility to the unit which possesses it to perform two normal attacks during its activation. And in this spot, we have Simon's Masters of the Universe, the board game. I think this campaign will reach at least $4 million. Simon has partnered with Mattel to bring this popular IP to the tabletop. This is one of the most famous contributions to pop culture, He-Man, Skeletor, and the power of Skull from Masters of the Universe. This new game system will be sure to introduce fans to the most iconic characters through a fresh interpretation of Eternia as it has never been seen before. And here at the end of the video, I wanted to mention a few honorable mentions. Chip Theory Games announced Hoplomachus Victorum, which is in the Hoplomachus universe. And Level 99 Games has announced Seventh Cross. That is a game where monster hunters are searching castles for deadly boss fights in an alternate history's 1920s. It's from Level 99 Games. And I heard through the grapevine that there is a big game coming from Mythic Games. Can't really reveal any information about that right now. Um, or it would be in uh, the predictions video. So I'll give more information as I can tell you about games coming from Mythic Games, a really popular IP. And also, Awakened Realms was not, was not on this list. And Awakened Realms has had a very, very good Kickstarter, or actually <laughs> crowdfund, because they didn't go to Kickstarter. They went um, through their own website, GameFound, for ISS Vanguard. And it actually is still running at the time of this recording and has raised over $3 million. It'd be interesting to see if uh, Awakened Realms decides to stay with their own crowdfunding site for their board games or if they decide to push one or two on Kickstarter. We'll see that in 2021. Well, first of all, please like this video if you've enjoyed it. And please tell me in the comments uh, what you think about my predictions. Were they good? Were they bad? Uh, maybe I missed a big Kickstarter that's coming in 2021. Let me know about that in the comments as well. Well, thanks for watching and be sure to check all the videos coming from Tantrum House in 2021.